Peter Eastgate doesn't seem to mind. Six, one time. One, six, six. Six, zero times. Only the six of diamonds would end Scott Montgomery's main event. All right, now the river card. Oh! In a year of bad beats, now that's got to be the baddest of bad beats at the worst possible moment. Over to the 22-year-old pro from Denmark, Peter Eastgate, 10-9 of spades. And Eastgate now the youngest player remaining. He raises to 300,000. Can two, folds again. Action on Ivan Demidov from Russia in the small blind. Ace-queen offsuit. Demidoff is 27. We have 23 players remaining. 15 of them are in their 20s. Lon, we are officially beyond old. Oh. <laughs> A call from the small blind. Chris Klodnicki folds his big blind, so Demidoff and Eastgate will be heads up. The flop is ace-seven-deuce. A pair of aces for Demidoff. The main event is a grind. It really is a young man's game. Demidoff checks. Eastgate now bluffs at it with 450,000. Eastgate with the continuation bet, also known as take more of my chips. Yvonne, usually a more freewheeling player, told us he's tightened up as he got deep in this tournament, and he just calls. Turn card 10 of clubs. Pair of 10s now for Eastgate, but he's still behind. Demidoff checks. Don't know why Demidoff's checking. Eastgate checks. Deuce of clubs pairs the board. Three clubs out there, but Demidoff has the check mark with aces up. Demidoff. No longer checking. He will bet 650,000. He puts out a value bet. Eastgate would need, you know, 650,000, as you said, to try to win a pot of 2.3 million. Eastgate paired his 10 on the turn. And now he's going to raise it to 1.9 million. Eastgate gets frisky. Demidoff wanted a call. He got a raise, and now he's all turned around. Three clubs on board helping Eastgate's case. I can't beat anything if I call. I can only beat a bluff. It's a bluff, Ivan. It's a bluff. 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 He needs one and a quarter million to call. I should be punished for playing it so bad. So I guess I have to call. I call. Calls. Demidoff calls, and, and Eastgate knows he's been picked off. A five and a half million chip pot for Demidoff. Even facing that big raise, Ivan's gut steered him in the right direction for the call. That is the planter's good instinct moment. His nickname is Icegate because when he plays poker, he is calm and icy. He's thinking about the final table like almost every day. The dreams and the nightmares. Eastgate gets frisky. Nine million dollars is like an absurd amount of money. It's so a once in a lifetime chance you got. Helmut wins the championship. To beat Phil Himmel's record, that would be quite an amazing. Idiot from Northern Europe. It's very cool to become like the youngest winner ever. The main thing is to make history in the way of becoming the world champion. The age factor is just like the icing on the cake. On to Peter Eastgate. Eastgate with ace queen offsuit. He does look like Ice Skate. <laughs> he raises to 300,000. Action folds to can two with pocket nines. Smaller. And he moves all in. Brandon says he struggles with short stack play. He's not patient enough, but going all in there with pocket nines, fairly standard. Can I have a count? So now action back to Eastgate. If he calls, can two will be at risk. Brandon had 26, 27 big blinds left. I believe left. it's like 2.7. I guess he could have called and seen a flop, but that's just not in his nature. Eastgate needs a little more than two million to call. Two, two, With ace queen, he calls. It's two, you got a pair? Three million you got a pair? Peter and he makes the call. Brandon, Brandon leads right now. So Brandon Cantu, the only bracelet winner left in the field, now at risk. Peter Eastgate with a chance to knock off the pro. Low cards. All right, let's see what the flop brings. All right, now the flop, and it is Trey 6 8. All diamonds, both with flush draws. Eastgate with a nut flush draw. It's not so good. It's still a coin flip. And now Brandon has to dodge an ace, a queen, and diamonds. It's a nine's coming. Nine's coming. By the way, if Brandon had just called pre flop, 
he probably would have pushed all in on that flop, and Eastgate probably would have called him, so we'd still be in the same spot. Turn card now. Eight of hearts. Yeah. Brandon still good. One, One card to come. Cantu's fast and loose style kept him near the top of the leaderboard, but he's at risk here. If he can stay out of harm's way, one of the most accomplished players remaining will be back in the game. Eastgate looking for an ace, a queen, or a diamond to eliminate Cantu. River cards a diamond! Eastgate with a nut flush eliminates Brandon Cantu. Can two goes out in 20th place. Peter Eastgate being one of them with pocket aces. And he is the youngest of the young, 22 years old. And he makes the call for a half million on to Tiffany Michelle. Well, Peter Eastgate in a trapping mood. Ace Jack offsuit for the one who could be the first female main event champion, also would be the youngest. She calls from the big blind. Almost a million dollars if you make it to the final table. He doesn't look old enough to spend it. Flop 10, nine ace. Eastgate hits a set of aces. Tiffany Michelle pairs her ace, but with little chance of winning the hand. Phillips with a pair of tens, also 3%. What a great flop for Peter Eastgate's trapping designs. He couldn't have drawn it up any better. Tiffany Michelle checked it. Phillips bets a million with his pair of tens. So Eastgate gets a taker. And Eastgate with the smooth call. Boy, that is a dangerous young, and he's just going to sit on it a little longer. Action back to Tiffany Michelle. Michelle with a top pair, good kicker, in a perilous spot right here. I'm sure she likes her hand, but she's just one bad move away from being wamboozled. I'm all in. That is a bad move. Tiffany all in and almost drawing dead. That is Tiffany's mom, Mary. Now Phillips. Wish I was sitting behind you. <laughs> Phillips, the man in the middle at the moment, and with middle pair. Phillips gets out of the way. I call. Eastgate, of course, makes the call. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Tiffany at risk and looking for a lifeline. A smooth call. I guess there's no way he would smooth call that. I knew you had a set. Dennis Phillips knew it. Tiffany Michelle didn't. Tiffany's parents know it now. And now Tiffany's bid to become the first woman and youngest ever to win the main event all but over. Huh? <laughs> well, we heard a lot of chirping from Tiffany yeah. earlier in the tournament. All quiet on the Western Front now. She's going to need running straight cards to stay alive. Turn card now is a five of hearts, and that's going to do it. Eastgate wins the hand. Tiffany Michelle knocked off in 17th place. A great showing for Tiffany Michelle. Highest finish for a female since Tiffany Williamson was 15th in 2005. This is the moment. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. A window to fame and fortune. This is the moment that will change someone's life forever. Tonight, nine people stand on the brink. From a sea of 6,844, they emerge. Yeah! From a tournament fraught with peril. To you, it's poker, man. To me, this is my life. They survive. Don't you do it to me. All in. They are the November Nine. Oh! Yeah, I do it. Wow! Our winning tournament is meant to be. An elder statesman who holds the chip lead. I'm older, I'm wiser, and I have the most chips. Bring it on, boys. An established pro looking to take back the title. This is the title. Every pro covets most. It's time. It's my time. Young guns chasing history. Some people wait their whole life for this opportunity. I don't want to wait. And a cast of unknowns looking to stand alone in the spotlight. Everyone's looking for the fairy tale ending. Why not me? 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 Nine people competing for an astounding nine million dollars. Nine playing for poker immortality. Come on! The final table of the World Series of Poker main event. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotta love this game. This is the moment. They're all gunning for that, the most coveted jewel in poker, and here's a look at the November 9. 
shortstop Kelly Kim barely held on. He's got just 2.6 million chips and a chair. The second shortest is Craig Marquis, one of two players who could become the youngest to win. David Chino Ream has the most experience and just over 10 million chips to play with. Next is Canadian accountant Darus Suharto, who hopes the final ledger adds up to victory. Free spirit Elon Schwartz is in the middle of the pack with 12.5 million chips. The youngest player, Peter Eastgate from Denmark, has 3 million more than chip average. The other Canadian at the table is third in chips. Scott Montgomery has nearly 20 million. Second in chips is the man many predict to win, the dangerous Russian Ivan Dimidov. And they're all chasing the trucking account manager turned chip leader, Dennis Phillips, with 26.3 million. You saw Suharto fold over to Chino Ream with Ace King. With Ace King and less than 10 big blinds left, I think it's time for Chino Ream to hidey ho. Indeed, a move all in for the pro Chino Ream. Dimitoff folds to Peter Eastgate now. Ace Queen. A call. And a call to put Chino Ream at risk. Show me Ace Queen. I have Ace Queen. Chino happy to well, see him. that he I has Eastgate dominated. And Chino's professional colleagues are also happy to see that. Chino trying for a small double up here to almost 8 million chips. Peter Eastgate, the second biggest stack, with support from his cheering section, trying to knock off Chino Reem. Eastgate looks matter-of-fact about the proceedings. That's why they call him Icegate. The flop is Queen 5-7. Eastgate pairs his Queen. Chino in trouble. Chino Reem still standing, but he looks like a fallen man at the moment. Indeed, Reem looking for help on the turn or the river. Turn card, nine of diamonds, that is no help. Peter Eastgate poised to knock out the only established pro at the final table. Chino has squiggled off the hook time and again at this main event. He has to have a king and a king only or his championship dream is over. River card is a four of hearts and that's gonna do it. Peter Eastgate wins the pot and knocks off Chino Ream in seventh place. Well, Scott Montgomery's demise is good news for Eastgate, who has moved into second place, and he has good news. He's got pocket sixes. Pocket pair good for a raise to one and a quarter million. Dennis Phillips with 6-5. They go into the muck. Elon Schwartz, I think he's taking that vacation early. He's still hibernating. Ace tray of diamonds for Montgomery. Montgomery is short stacked. All in. And all in. Montgomery's going to give the lone ace another try. He had little choice this time. I have a count. Dimitoff folded. Six million and change. Eastgate with the pocket pair. I call. Makes the call to put Scott Montgomery at risk. Come on, Linda. Montgomery needs to come from way back. He's hoping he catches something, as do his supporters. The Danes love it, though. Any aces or diamonds in this deck? Come on. Well, I threw a six away if it helps. <laughs> well, it means he's not going to flop quad sixes, so I'm happy with that. So Montgomery at risk needs help to stay alive. Here's the flop, and there's the help. He hits his ace. It looks like he's going to stay alive. Huge flop for Scott Montgomery. Now you're glad I had a six. Now it's going to make it even uglier when the six comes on the river. I think it was the black six. I think it was the six of clubs. So I need a king of diamonds for him to be drawn dead on the river? Yeah. Turn cards, another race, and all but closes out his hand. Scott Montgomery poised to double up. Peter Eastgate doesn't seem to mind. Six, one time. One, six, six. Six, zero times. Only the six of diamonds would end Scott Montgomery's main event. All right, now the river card. Oh! There it is! The six of diamonds eliminates Scott Montgomery. My goodness. What an hour. In a year of bad beats, now that's got to be the baddest of bad beats at the worst possible moment. Peter Eastgate takes in the remainder of Scott Montgomery's chips. Montgomery out in fifth place, wins over $3 million. Action continues on Peter Eastgate, looks down at pocket fives. Eastgate gonna raise it up to 1.5 million. 
Eastgate says he admires the playing styles of Gus Hansen and Patrick Antonius. To a man, everyone at this table admires Eastgate's fearless style. We saw Phillips fold, a suited king. Elon Schwartz with ace-10. He might have to play, Norman. Looks like he doesn't want to play. <laughs> he does make the call from the small blind. It was a very lazy, reluctant, am I really getting to the pot call? So heads up, Peter Eastgate, I introduce you to Elon Schwartz. <laughs> and they go to the flop. Deuce, king, eight. Pocket fives hold up for Eastgate. Schwartz misses the flop. And he checks. Eastgate also checks. Turn card now. Another king. Two pair for Eastgate. Dennis Phillips would have hit trip kings. Schwartz checks Eastgate now. That's 1.7 million. He's going to make Elon pay to see any river card. Well, Elon doesn't have anything. If he's going to pay here, and he looks like he's going to, maybe he's going to try to pick up the pot on the river. And he does make the call. Schwartz going down a slippery slope. River card is a five, and Eastgate Rivers fives full and gets the check mark. Schwartz with ace high. Fair Kings on board. He checks. Eastgate immediately goes to work. Bets 4.6 million. I'm all in. Schwartz oh pushes all goodness. in. Yeah, you fight forever to get to this point. You have nearly 30 big blinds left, and you bluff all in. I hate to see it. If Eastgate calls here, Elon Schwartz is gone. Everyone in this theater on edge waiting for Eastgate's decision. I call. Eastgate call. will call. call. Schwartz hates that. Ace high. And that's not nearly good enough for the full house. Peter Eastgate sends Schwartz to the rail. Fourth place and almost $3.8 million for Elon Schwartz. If Eastgate doesn't hit the full house, maybe that check raise all in works. And when he had the chip lead, I had visions of Elon Schwartz winning and moving to Mars. It's over to Peter Eastgate. Eastgate with pocket trays. And Peter will raise it up to $1.5 million. 10-9 offsuit for Phillips in the big blind. Not cool. And he will make the call. Dennis Phillips getting a little restless. So Eastgate and Phillips heads up to the flop. The flop, and there's the case tray in there, a set for Eastgate. The flop missed Dennis Phillips. Eastgate first to act. 1.5 million again. No trapping mode for Eastgate on this one. Peter Eastgate is silent and lethal. And now the young whippersnapper staring down the old codger. Phillips now. It seems like an easy fold, but he's thinking about something. I'm all in. I call. Phillips all in and called. Wow. You got a jack? Oh, it's a lot worse than that. Oh, I got to have runner runner to have anything. Dennis Phillips main event all but over. Fatigue may have been a factor. I think Elon Schwartz got fed up sitting around and Dennis Phillips got tired too. Dennis's sister's emotions mirror everyone here in a red cap. <laughs> I run good. And I run very good. Peter Eastgate poised for a heads up match against Yvonne Demidoff. I just couldn't keep folding, had to do something. And it looks like Demidoff already celebrating that potential heads-up match. Dennis Phillips appears to be at peace with his fate. And his supporters standing silent and stunned. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a king, a queen, an eight or a seven at least gives me a shot. That's right. All right. Any of those four gives me a shot. Dennis Phillips needs running straight cards to stay alive. Turn card is an ace, and that closes the door right there. Eastgate wins the pot, and Dennis Phillips' dreams of claiming a poker world championship are over. Phillips started his final table as chip leader. He followed that dream all the way to third place. He and his supporters just lit up this poker theater. Dennis wins over four and a half million dollars for third place. Well done. Ah! 
here's how they stand at the moment. Peter Eastgate over 120 million. Ivan Demidoff with about 16 and a half million. Eastgate says he's very lazy and not very productive, so we have that in common. Demidoff said should he win, he might ignite a Russian moneymaker effect. Oh, it would be a ruble maker effect, Lon. <laughs> Good point. Eastgate looks at ace five off suit. He limps in for a half a million. Well, one way or the other, we are going to have our third foreign-born main event champion in four years. With four deuce of hearts, Demidoff checks the big blind. The flop is deuce king Trey. Demidoff with a pair of deuces. Eastgate picked up a wheel draw. Demidoff, first to act. He checks. Eastgate says he's studied ESPN tapes on his opponents. It is amazing how much you can learn just listening to me talk. Eastgate with ace high in his draw, bets one and a quarter million. Demidoff with a small pair. Any pair and heads up on the flop, chances are you're ahead, and Demidoff is ahead. He makes the call. Turn card now is a four, and what a card for Eastgate, hitting as straight, and that's a disaster for Demidoff because he caught two pair. Yeah, that might be the prettiest card Peter Eastgate ever will see, and it is an ugly two pair for Yvonne Demidoff. That turn card could be a $9 million card for Eastgate. Demidoff checked his fours and deuces. Eastgate with the made wheel bets $2 million. Eastgate is inching toward Phil Halmuth and history. Six. And six. Demidoff will raise to $6 million. Demidoff now has committed half of his chips into this pot. And a wave of nervous energy courses through this theater. Eastgate just flat calls. Yeah, the smooth call from the 22-year-old on the brink of becoming the youngest main event champion ever. Demidoff is committed here. He'll have to get lucky and hit his full house on the river. And here is the river card. It is a seven. Eastgate earns the check mark with that straight. Demidoff left with just two pair. And Eastgate's got to figure his wheel is good. Demidoff first to act. I'm all in. All in. I call. All in, and it ends the call. And this That's is the okay. moment. 22-year-old Peter Eastgate steps into poker history. <laughs> Peter Eastgate is our 2008 main event champion. From unknown to unreal again at the World Series, Peter Eastgate, 22 years old, the youngest main event champion ever. Yvonne Demidoff, what a player this guy turned out to be this year. Second place wins $5.8 million. $9 million to Peter Eastgate, and now seven straight main event champions plucked from obscurity. Eastgate soaks in the moment, the culmination of many amazing moments from this main event. Peter Eastgate, congratulations. You are the 2008 world champion of poker, and this bracelet is yours. So another amazing season comes to a close. For Norman Chad, I'm Lon McCarran. So long from the World Series of Poker.